Daniel Harkins. Okay, this is no lie. I am a painter per se, as in painting scenes. I am not a painter, etc. But about 13 years ago, I made a painting of Jesus automatically. Well, here's why, Dan. Are you still here, honey? I hope you're still here. Creative, creation, creating, all of those things, the root word there is creator, creator. When we are in the act of creating, whether that's something nobody's ever going to see, we're never going to sell it, but we're creating something, we're painting something, we are actually commingling our energy with source energy, which is creator energy. Creator creates. And so when we create, we are with the creator, our own creator, and also capital C, creator. And so it's very common when you are creating and really in the zone of that creation for you to channel through whatever it is that you're creating. Channel a beautiful new recipe. That's a type of alignment that happens. Channel a beautiful painting. Channel a message from your spirit guides or from source. Channel a book. Channel some music. All of that happens when you are creating. So even if you aren't a painter per se, it is a conduit for you, you see, for spirit to get messages to you and for spirit to talk to you and for you to commingle. Remember, when you're hanging out with source energy, blending your energy with source energy, you're becoming like source energy. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and all these things are added unto you. If you hang out in creative energy, having fun and playing and creating, no matter how mundane, no matter whether somebody will buy it, you are in creator energy. And now your bank account's getting better. Now the people that you're meeting are higher quality. Now your career is getting better. Now the networking has happened. Now the doors are opening simply because you are painting, not a painter per se, but you're a creator. God made us in their image. And just as creator sought to create, you are here to create and are always creating. So let that be a powerful motivator for you to continue to do that, to continue to do that. And when you create something, especially something like a painting, spend time looking at it afterwards, looking at it afterwards. I wish I could show you this painting right there. That was actually painted by one of the members of the Lightworkers Lab, and it's, you can't see all of it, but when you get up close, she paints this while she is clicked into alignment. When you get up close, you can see faces you can see things begin to emerge. It's a type of scrying, if you will, which is a, a type of divination where you look into surfaces or you look into a crystal or you look into art and you receive spirit messages. So if spirit's coming through via painting, make sure you take the time afterwards to look into it and see if there's anything else there for you.